this is the energy vibration lesson for the boat the Sagittarian Sun Moon Horizon sign Saggy Saggy okay Saggy okay Saggy your message is here um, alrighty before I begin um, Sagittarius my babies hello welcome back full moon reading is up you have your own full moon reading energy go check it out use the on-demand they're all in the stored on-demand every three reading is 15% off Sagis you I have been missing you guys the Virgos are winning um, remember that I'm doing a series on the weekly reading to see who are receiving and uh, accessing the weekly readings because you're going to be winning a prize for a reading for the year 2020 so Saji I'm missing you guys I'm missing you guys Saji um, what is transpiring and um, this week begins from the 14th until the 20th um, the full moon for the month of October is out. Go check out your full moon. Okay, you might see it comes out before this weekly reading. It's very important with the Empress coming up. Archangel Annual is going to provide you, Sagittarius, with some good luck. Okay, with some good luck. And um, what I'm realizing is that um, most of you guys are looking um for the reading, but I'm just gonna set it on the weekly reading. Okay, weekly readings. So I'm gonna start. So changing up the name weekly reading. So, okay, Saji. All right, Saji. This full moon is going to bring you some luck. Okay, whatever is happening. And trust me, I can't just write one name on a video because it's always about something else. It's a multiple facets of um, situation that is happening. So, Saji, just let me know. Um, another thing, Saji. Let me know if you prefer me to be on camera or. You want to see the cards okay because while um, like bouncing with the cards on here it takes some time and that's the reason why all right let's go in your reading Saji what's coming up for the Sagittarian Sun Moon Horizon sign some of you uh, men are dealing with an issue I'm seeing that some of you men could be receiving a new job or a new um, um, promotion that is coming up I'm seeing um, you need to balance out your intuition. Um, it's as if you're not listening to yourself, Sagis. You need to listen to yourself. I'm seeing someone walking away from you, men. Um, you men, your partner could be walking away. You men, be careful. I'm seeing some of you could be moving towards an older Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. Oh, okay, this could be the person who is moving away. I'm seeing you leaving the Knight of Pentacles. Whoever this young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, you could be um, wanting to go back to this person. Whatever is going on, I'm seeing that you men could be wanting to go back to a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I'm seeing you missing this person. Okay, whoever this person is, um, either you have turned your back on them or they have turned your back on you. And it could be a Taurus person, okay? So it could be a Taurus person. I'm seeing worries for you men are coming up. You men, 45 years and older, I'm seeing a lot of worries, okay? And some of your worries about a young Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, whoever this young Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion is, whether or not it is your child, I'm seeing you men worried about this person, okay? This week is a week where men are worried. I'm seeing worries coming up for some of you who have kids that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion whatever is happening to this person I'm seeing a lot of worries I'm seeing worries for the mothers who have a child this child could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn or a Pisces cancer or a scorpion these kids are in the reverse form whatever is happening or transpiring maybe the relationship is not going between your kids and their partners and you're getting involved um, I'm seeing a secrets coming out um, and some of you could be dealing with um, um, secrets is coming out because I'm seeing a lot of you turning your backs on issues and situation it's a nurturing week and I'm seeing that the women are going to be the, the women are going to be feeling very nurtured okay there is some worries worries is in the foundation and worries about a young Pisces cancer or a scorpion okay let's see what is coming out for you men 
um yes definitely there is worries uh, um you need to protect yourself you men whatever is happening you need to protect yourself you left yourself open um if you were not feeling well this is going to be resolved okay if you're not really feeling well um some of you could be worried about your health if you're not feeling well this is going to be resolved okay so you men whatever is transpiring um and you are you were worried um because you're worried about your health okay you um you're definitely worried about your health some of you could be worried about an issue between you and a leo but you're going to be resolving this issue and you're going to be um getting over this issue so it could be that some of you are having issues with a leo also all right so that could be it now we have the energy of the moon the intuition um, this energy of the moon the intuition is where um, um, you're dealing with uh, um, an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person and it's as if um, you're not listening to your intuition about this person you're just not listening to your intuition about this person and this person is a woman 45 years and older she comes up twice in the reading your intuition is right about this person okay um, whatever you're thinking your intuition is right about this person it could be a legal issue that you're dealing with your intuition is right okay and you're going to be overcoming this issue and the situation with a lady this person is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra whatever the issue is and whatever the situation is you're definitely going to be overcoming this issue where you're going to be moving forward um, whatever it was there is some deceptive things at play and you're going to be finding it out and moving away your thing was right some of you are dealing with a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn I'm seeing either they or you or turning your backs on this relationship because I'm seeing either they or you walking away from you now whatever the issue is or whatever the situation is this is um, leaving this person behind walking away letting the situation go forgetting the situation and moving forward in your life whoever the Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn person is I'm seeing you walking away leaving the situation and moving forward this was a karmatic situation for some of you and you're realizing now that it is time um, to move away from the situation I'm seeing that it could be a child that is leaving the house or it's someone a, a, a marriage or a situation but I'm seeing for some of you um, this person walks away or turn their backs on you but I'm seeing for some of you you want to return to this person okay so the eight of cups comes up another time where some of you as I said wants to return to this person whether this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is you wants to return some of you are dealing with a um, Pisces some of you are dealing with a Pisces whatever is transpiring some of you are dealing with a Pisces some of you um, realize something about a Pisces and and um, it's like a scorpion is going to be telling you something about the Pisces but whoever and whatever the issue is I'm seeing that you want to return um, if you were divorced you want to go back to your your marriage partner if you were divorced you want to go back to your marriage partner there is some um, um, deceptiveness some conflicts with um, your ex or a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn but I'm seeing um, no communication between you and this person you're missing the communication between you and this person I'm seeing that some of you really care about this person but whoever this person is and however they play a role in your life I'm seeing because whatever is coming up these people are younger than you are so it could be an ex-wife who is 10 years younger it could be a child it could be friends and you young people are connecting to the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn whatever is happening I'm seeing as if you want to return to these people okay I'm seeing some of you waiting for communication from a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn but there is no communication the energy there's a lot of reverse energy um, some some unexpected news is going to be coming in that is um, going to make you worry but um, it is okay okay um, some unexpected news or 
um, some false news could be coming in okay unexpected news or false news you got to be aware because there's so so much deceptiveness whatever is transpiring I'm saying some of you that is in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion is ending this relationship turning your back and moving away from this person there is a lot of situation that is going on with you and water sign some of you your children could be in legal issue and uh, and you're there fighting for their cause okay somehow um, um, some of you your kids could be having um, uh, um, for slap um, drugs in drugs coming getting in contact with but there's a lot of negative energy negative situation what is affecting either you your kids or people around you and you're you're seem to, seemingly trying to help these people out okay especially the fish the Pisces cancer or scorpion this is coming out and the Pisces cancer and scorpion is dealing with um, Hey, Aquarian, an Aquarian that has gotten them in some problems, an Aquarian that has gotten them in some problems. There is definitely these um, Aquarians that has gotten them in some problems. Um, some of you, you have a, um, a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion that is in a relationship with an Aquarian, and what has happened and transpired is that either day this Aquarian have them introduced to drugs and a lot of things is going on and you're trying to figure out what is wrong with your child what is happening with your child because whoever this Aquarian is or whatever this situation is there could be a legal issue with a child that is a Pisces cancer scorpion this is going to be over because they're going to be finding out what exactly as transpire okay they're going to be finding out exactly what has transpired lies and deceptiveness um that as um, a card with another child that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn or this person might not be a child but an ex there was some real deceptive things that has happened to your ex and finally this is like really resolving I'm seeing you really supporting your ex because of the deceptiveness that has transpired with this person um, for the people who have health problem I'm seeing that um, you might be finding out that you have some health problem this week or this health problem is going to be resolved okay um, definitely some of you I see some of you who were married to a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn or in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn that you're hoping and wishing for this person to return um, because this person has left you and you're hoping and wishing for this person to return so here it is what is happening and what is transpiring you're open for this person to return in your life because you miss this person it's, it's as if you have a very strong love for this person and you're missing this person when it comes on to your materialistic stability this is going to be good a lot of you are dealing with people um, Aquarian Gemini and Libran number eight is infinity and abundancy is the name of the game because uh, and it's as if um, through all that you're going through um, everything else in the materialistic world money is coming in okay so through all that you're going through in this uh, um, week um, Sagittarian I'm seeing like unexpected thing is coming in um, money wise is coming in there is a lot of you that is balancing out legal issues there's a lot of you that is dealing with the Taurus Virgo and the Capricorn people and these are more young people people between the age of 18 and 45 so whatever is happening and transpiring I'm seeing all of this that is coming up for you guys some of you are going to be receiving some news and whatever some unexpected news is coming in it's not going to be um, good but you're going to be able to deal with it and cope with it and resolve it okay you're going to be able to deal with it to cope with it and resolve it okay so not to worry I'm seeing some of you are not receiving any communication from a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn it can be a child it can be a partner it can be someone who you're working with however this is coming up some of you 
are dealing with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person and you want to end this relationship you no longer want to be in this relationship whatever is happening between you and this person you're thinking this is an unhealthy relationship for you some of you want to go back to the ex that the ex is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn I see you're still in love with your ex-wife or ex-husband I know what I am here to do purpose comes up I know what I'm here to do so whatever is happening I'm some of you are going to be really knowing what exactly you're here to do and it's going to be working out for you guys in this week um, ladies and gentlemen I love you so much please like share these videos share 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 Saji I love you I'll speak to you next week bye